Fat embolism is a frequent occurrence after trauma, yet fat embolism syndrome, FES, is rare and potentially lethal. Understanding this distinction is crucial for effective management. Fat embolism results in end organ damage and presents with a triad of symptoms, respiratory distress, neurological dysfunction and petechial rash. Recognising these signs early is vital. Fat embolism syndrome can originate from traumatic or non-traumatic causes. However, it is most commonly seen after blunt force trauma involving long bone injuries. Young men are at higher risk due to the prevalence of high velocity trauma in this demographic. Understanding these risk factors aids in prevention. Fat embolism syndrome typically manifests 24, 72 hours post-injury. Key indicators include respiratory distress, neurological dysfunction, and a petechial rash. Hypoxia is the most common clinical finding present in 96% of FES cases. Early detection can significantly impact patient outcomes. No single test definitively diagnoses fat embolism syndrome. GERD's criteria and other scoring systems are often used, but diagnosis remains challenging. Diagnosis is frequently one of exclusion, especially in patients with known risk factors. This highlights the importance of clinical vigilance. Diagnosis criteria. Major 1. Hypoxemia, PAO2 less than 60. CNS depression, changes in mental status. Petechial rash. Pulmonary edema, minor 4. Tachycardia, pyrexia, retinal emboli. The presence of fat in urine or sputum is also observed. Thrombocytopenia, decreased hematocrit. Additional, PCO2 over 55. pH less than 7.3, RR more than 35. Dyspnea, anxiety. Three theories explain fat embolism syndrome, mechanical, biochemical, and coagulation. Each contributes differently to the syndrome's development. Understanding these theories aids in developing targeted management strategies crucial for improving patient care. Early surgical fixation of fractures is crucial in reducing fat embolism risk. Critical care admission is recommended for suspected cases. Pharmacological management remains controversial with no universally accepted drug treatment for fat embolism syndrome. Minimizing movement at fracture sites reduces the risk of fat embolism. Different fixation techniques impact fat embolism risk variably. Treatment, non-operative, mechanical ventilation with high levels of PEEP, positive end expiratory pressure. Indications, acute fat emboli syndrome. Prevention, early fracture stabilization. Indications, early fracture stabilization within 24 hours of long bone fracture is most important factor in prevention of fat embolism syndrome techniques to reduce the risk of fat emboli. Overreaming of the femoral canal during a total knee arthroplasty. Use of reamers with decreased shaft width reduces the risk during femoral reaming for intramedullary fixation. Use of external fixation for definitive fixation of long bone fractures in medically unstable patients decreases the risk. Continued research is crucial for advancing clinical practice, particularly in clarifying the role of steroids in fat embolism management. Pathophysiology. Two theories regarding the causes of fat embolism include mechanical theory. Embolism is caused by droplets of bone marrow fat released into venous system. Biochemical theory. Lipoprotein lipase induces free fatty acid production with resultant hyperinflammatory response similar to acute respiratory distress syndrome. Diagnosis is made clinically with the presence of hypoxemia, PAO2 less than 60, central nervous system depression, petechial rash and pulmonary edema. Treatment is focused on prevention with early stabilization of long bone fractures. Mechanical ventilation with high levels of positive end expiratory pressure, PEEP, is the recommended treatment for acute presentations. Fat embolism syndrome is a serious breathing problem that occurs when fat droplets enter the bloodstream due to severe long bone fractures or specific medical procedures. Patients present with hypoxia, changes in mental status and petechial rash. Diagnosis is made clinically with the presence of hypoxemia, PAO2 less than 60, CNS depression, petechial rash and pulmonary edema. The focus of treatment is on preventing and early stabilizing long bone fractures. 
Mechanical ventilation with high levels of positive end expiratory pressure, PEEP, is the recommended treatment for acute presentations. Join us in the next module where we'll delve deeper into advanced management strategies for fat embolism syndrome and related conditions.